All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Lumo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And if you guys feel like I'm out of it, um, I've recorded this video twice now. I tried to record it earlier today at like 11 a.m. My mic audio was messed up. I go back to recording it. I did not have a fun time. I kept complaining. So we're back on after like two hours. So I apologize for that. But I'm going to be showing you guys my controller settings, my graphic settings, and just all my settings for Black Ops 6 beta. So when the beta comes back around, for weekend two, you guys can use my controller settings or my graphic settings, whatever you prefer. Let's get right into it. All right. So for my controller settings, my button layout is this. Um, I dive and slide with right stick. I jump with left stick. My right paddle is square and my left paddle is triangle. And I'll explain why my left pad triangle is now sprint slash tactical sprint slash focus. And it's just the basic stuff. And I use L1 to aim down sight and R1 to fire. And my equipment is L2 and R2. 6-6 six, six now, I switch from 7-6 horizontal. And then now I'm on 6-6, six, six, everything's off. And then regular stuff over here. And then for my dead zones, I have the left stick min as 1 and the left stick max as 40. I have it on 40 because I'm trying to hit tactical sprint as soon as possible. And this feels comfortable to the point where I have to put pressure, but it's not constantly always doing it by itself. So drift stick does not affect it. And then 0 and 99. Then for aiming... My sensitivity multiplier is now 0.60 as I turned off custom sensitivity per zoom. And here are all of my advanced aiming settings, instant dynamic. And once I finalize all of my sensitivity and keybinds, I'm going back to linear, right? And here are my custom sensitivity per zoom. I was at 0.50, which felt too slow, and I switched it. Target aim is just obviously on. We need the aim bot. And then for movement, it's the tactical sprint assist, zero delay, sideways, on, on, and mantle assist, and... Crouch assist is all off and automatic airborne mantle is off. I now run hybrid. I switch from slide only to tap to dive, then tap to slide and then dive only. And that just ended up going with hybrid. And now that I'm on hybrid, all I have to do to dive with my right stick is to hold down triangle or press triangle, then quickly do it. Right. So I get to use the Omni movement and it's quick. And for my movement advanced settings, it's all this stuff right here. And then for my combat, it's all this stuff as well. And for my combat advanced settings, my change zoom activation went from melee to sprint slash tactical sprint to focus because I use the left paddle, which is now triangle for me to actually focus when I'm sniping. And I use prioritize reload for multiplayer that prioritize interact for war zone and just the regular stuff right here. And then for graphics, it's all the regular stuff. And if you're going to change any settings, make sure to hit restart shaders preloading after you made all the switches on that stuff. So they all apply once you reload the game. Brightness is at 55. Everything's normal. I usually set my... Frame rate limit at 260. It's just basic stuff. And the quality for the upscaling slash sharpening, I use AMD FSR 3.0. I do have a PC setup video that's going to be linked in the description. But all you need to know for my GPU and CPU, they're both AMD. My GPU is the AMD Radeon 7900 XCX, which is basically AMD's equivalent of the 4090, right? And we run ultra quality for the preset and AMD frame generation on. VRAM scale is 50, so it doesn't prioritize Call of Duty over OBS or any of my other applications. And just the normal stuff, everything off or normal and or low as well. View is 120. ADS field of view is affected. So my field of view is always at 120. And my weapon field of view is wide. So I can see more around the weapon and the weapon is smaller. And first person can remove it is at least 50 because that's, you know, least if you're at 100 or 75, you're going to have a hard time actually shooting and all that stuff. And then for my audio settings, while I was recording, they changed the audio. I'm currently experimenting with headphones, PC speaker, and soundbar as the audio mix. And I use a software called SteelSeries Sonar for an EQ to hear more and hear things louder. So try it out if you're on PC. And it's just for the regular stuff, you know what I'm saying? And my interface, this is all it right here. And for my customization, this is my hex color right here. And I use color filter too on both on 100. And then for my gameplay, I use magnified. The HUD bounds at the lowest square, map rotation on, radar off, horizontal compass. I am going to test between minimap and horizontal to see what I like. And it's just the regular stuff. But yeah, let's show these settings off in game. It's like my 10th game of the day, bro. And I'm, I'm not even like warmed up fully. I've just been like having such a hard time with not even the skill based matchmaking, but like myself. Like these guys I'm playing are not good. They're trash. And I'm averaging what, 450, 400, above 400 at least. Right? But yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie. My suggestion to you guys for your settings, try to figure them out and actually, like, experiment. Don't just stick with the same stuff that you were using for Modern Warfare 3 because the game is completely different. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a completely different game. And you should be experimenting with the Omni Movement. Give Omni Movement a shot because I'm telling you guys, once you learn it and the possibilities of what you can do, it's just insane. Like, I'm dominating right now, right? Just got a little, like, three-piece, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I would only suggest to go really 
a lot slower in your uh, sensitivity due to the fact that like you have no aim assist and if you're too fast for your own good you are not going to get any like close range kills so the slower you not even play but like you aim and look around the better in my opinion right now what is going on y'all yeah i'm not even gonna lie this damn gun has been plaguing the fucking beta dude this pdw bro face off 6v6 is like too broken dude due to the fact that you're, you just die to pdw's bro that's literally all you die to you don't die to anything else like i look how quickly i died there but yeah like like i said once you figure out your settings and like you know what you're rocking with i feel like you could be a beast at this game with the omni movement my biggest suggestion right now if you're you know doing the weekend two beta because i definitely am but like if you haven't played yet you gotta experiment with the omni movement at least give it a try without you know like if you don't use it and or don't give it a try at all i feel like you're missing out but yeah i'm excited to see what changes they make even if they don't make any changes like i'm excited to see what they're going to do for the full release either way i am hoping to see changes in the meta and the smoothness of things and like how certain things work because this game i feel like the healing system is just way too slow even though it's like the normal for cod it's way too slow for how fast the game is actually played and like you're you are kind of forced to use the stims in multiplayer right now which is not really ideal i'll be honest and we're just getting dominated now jesus christ but yeah being forced to use stims is not really that fun i'll be honest dude i don't like it at all but yeah once you learn the movement techniques i feel like you can do really good in the game like a lot of people just don't know it yet which is completely fine i'm not saying you should know it but like you know you should at least be trying to learn it so you have you know so you're able to keep up with the current meta for the actual game everyone is literally just sitting back here it's all pdw's bro i don't know how people find this fun but yeah like i'm still enjoying the beta even after a couple days out and the lobby's being like this but yeah i feel like my settings really work best in smaller maps when the game is actually balanced for once i mean we did decent but let's try an actual game where we have actual teammates I just hope it's a, it's a lobby that we got scud 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 dude holy shit it's 33 to 27 bro like how how am i supposed to have fun when it's like this and it's on tdm dude can this guy stop being so annoying thank you bro i know i was whiffing there but man i haven't used this gun in a fat minute but yeah like i just hope they just balance things man i feel like that's the biggest problem with the game they don't have things balanced and they need to kind of make console for this game a lot better that's a must right now too they gotta make console better because dude my friends on console they don't want to play the game because it's literally unpolished and it's unplayable for them sometimes for a majority of the time it's unplayable and i don't know why like they wouldn't really care that much for console and or make an immediate fix for the people that pre-ordered on console because a lot of people even excluding the zombies community is now actually like you know canceling pre-orders there we go like I literally just use Omni movement there to my advantage all because all because I have left stick as my slide and I feel like this game I don't know why it's just not balanced at all for console like you can't play if you're not on PC that's the worst part about this game right now for majority of players they literally cannot play if they're not on PC bro where is he on the mini map you are trash bro this guy's afk bro i they need to filter out an option to you know ask like oh do you want to be and uh, you know games have already started and i would say no every single time man all right so uh, i was on tiktok and i was scrolling and uh now the game's doing this so if you guys enjoyed drop a like if you guys are new subscribe i upload every day and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy my settings peace